So, area between two curves. Mm-hmm. What to do, what to do. Draw a picture. Dude, dude, uh-oh. No, not for sure. Yeah, draw a picture. So you have two curves. So you have an A and you have a B. And let's say you have a function F going like this. F and um, and then above it you have G, which is oh straight line hookers. Um, yeah, that's okay. G. All right, two functions. Uh, in this case, they don't cross. That's important. Um, what do I want to do? Oh. I want you switch F and G. So I want you to switch the names. So let's call the top one F. And the bottom one G. Sorry about that. Yeah, what is the area between them? Okay, graphically it's straightforward. Just do some. So Typically, we say the area between F and G on the interval A to B. So we'll do some dotted lines here to in our area we're talking about. And of course, we're talking about. this area. Now, if you look at that picture, and um, think about the area between G and the x-axis. That's don't draw this. Now this in red here I have the area between G and the x-axis. And then you have the area between F and the x-axis. Okay, so the area in blue that I want is the difference of those two things in red. So let's write like this. Um, let's go down, scroll down and give myself some more room. So area between F and G on AB is equal to area under F minus area under G. Okay, so again, when I say area under F, so what, I, what I mean is the area between F and the x-axis. And when I say area under G, what I mean is the area between G and the x-axis. And what do I get here? Well, this I can do the first thing is an integral. A to B, f of x, dx, minus integral A to B, g 
of x and dx, which is equal to the integral from a to b f of x minus g of x dx. Okay. So pause and copy that down. Pause. Okay, scrolling down to something you should copy. Oh, here we go. Okay, a more formal definition. Okay, let f and g be continuous, blah, 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 blah. So pause and copy, please. And then we will try this example here. 